My uh, temperature gauge now says it's 44 degrees, so it's pretty cool out for me. Hello, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. I want to welcome you back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. It is a nippy and a little breezy 46 degrees out today. Again, I am uh, going out to run a few errands. It was it was 25 degrees this morning when I got up to go for coffee and I don't typically ride if it's uh, under 40 or 39 degrees and I'll tell you why so many people in our area or our city leave their sprinklers on and they continue to water their yard and it runs out into the street sometimes and when it's 25 degrees that water freezes and I don't particularly like riding my motorcycle over icy patches on the street so I try to avoid riding the motorcycle when it's that cold and you have frozen water potentially on the streets especially when I go to coffee in the morning because it's dark out so this afternoon it warmed up a little bit. It's actually my uh, temperature gauge now says it's 44 degrees. So it's pretty cool out for me. And a little breezy, which makes it even colder. I would update you again. I've used this pin lock insert now for about two and a half, three weeks. I've used it several times. And I will say it does seem to do a pretty good job of keeping the fogging off of the uh, face shield. But one thing I have noticed is it does seem to distort the uh, view. So my face shield on this HJC IS Max 2 is actually pretty good. It, it doesn't distort the view at all. But with the pin lock in place, you do get a little bit of distortion. It's not bad, but in, under some circumstances, it's noticeable. So I'll just point that out to you. I want to thank those of you that took the time you watched I guess you watched my last motor vlog you took the time to go over to my other uh, YouTube channel cruisereport.com or my other website and I asked you last time if you're interested in cruising uh, that's where I get the name cruise man is because I run a website and YouTube channel for the cruise industry and that's cruisereport.com is the website, and uh, I'll put the YouTube channel in the link below and in the description. And I asked you, if you're interested in cruising, go over there and subscribe to my YouTube channel, because we're trying to kind of relaunch our YouTube channel, and a lot of you did that last week. So I appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. And Ricky and I will be heading out very soon, just a few days. Uh, to Miami to report on the new Norwegian Encore one of these huge new ships that holds 4,000 some odd people and it's a it's a beast it's a monster but we'll be on it for three days and we'll be reporting doing cruise vlogs and I'll be blogging so if you're interested in cruising check it out now Last week, I received a set of saddlebag and trunk mats from a company called Cobra Auto Accessories. And these are kind of an alternative to the uh, saddlebag and trunk mats that Honda has. So I'm going to shut up for a few minutes, and I'm just going to uh, insert some video here of a, a brief review that I've done on this product in case you're looking for uh, saddlebag and trunk mats this might be something you're interested in. So today I was going to show you these uh, 
these saddlebag and trunk mats that I got in from Cobra Accessories. You can see it's a full set, uh, left saddlebag, right saddlebag, and the trunk mat. <clears throat> and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these. Uh, they sent me a set to review and to look at and to talk to you about. And let me just kind of give you my overall opinion of these and, and tell you uh, what I know about them so far just from the first look. Uh, first of all, they look very nice. Uh, they are, I have not put these in and used them yet, so I will have to give you another update after I've uh, ridden with them for a few hundred miles and a few weeks to let you know. But I'm just kind of going on first glance. The carpet material uh, feels pretty soft. It feels nice. The stitching around the little uh, edging here also looks good. You can compare it to the Honda mat which is right here, you can see that the size is a little bit different. It's a little bit larger, it looks like. The shape is slightly different down here. In fact, uh, there's some unevenness. If you, look, if you look right down here, maybe you can see that this edge protrudes, whereas the Honda is straight across. There's like a little curved out area here, and then it goes straight across, and then up toward the front of the mat, you can see there's a couple of little points here uh, that the Honda mat does not have. However, I will say that these little points here that they've added toward the front of the mat actually do fit the trunk shape uh, better than the Honda mat. The Honda mat kind of just leaves that off. So that is actually pretty nice. It does fit the trunk pretty well. I'm not sure why there's this little this little scooped out area here, but I'll, once I get it in the trunk, I'll look at it. We'll shoot some video and let you see what it looks like. Saddlebag mats, the quality looks the same. One thing that's unique about these, I've noticed, they offer some Velcro uh, double-sided tape tight, like stick, stick down to your uh, saddlebag floor, and also on the trunk mat, there's a, a thing here to help stick it down. Now that might be because this material is a little bit, I don't want to say flimsy, but it's a lighter weight material than the Honda mat. The Honda mat does feel a little sturdier. The carpet feels a little more, uh, it's a little more like carpet. This is a little more like that fuzzy material you find on the carpet on the inside of a trailer or on the inside of a trunk of a car. This actually feels like a pretty nice almost a Berber style carpet. So this probably is a little bit higher quality carpet, but it's also more than twice the price. This mat alone from Honda is about 68, maybe $70. Whereas you can get the entire set of the trunk mat and the saddlebags for $60 and they have the nice embroidery. And let me talk for a second about that embroidery. I got the silver and you buy these through Amazon.com. I actually have them on my Amazon store. And they show on Amazon gold, silver, and blue, I believe. But they can make other colors. They can make white. They can make red. So you just need, when you order, to make sure you send a message uh, to them after you've placed your order and tell them what color you want. So if you have a red gold wing, and you want red embroidery to match your gold wing, they can do that for you, which is a pretty nice feature that you don't get with the Honda mats. So like I say, they have the little sticky tape tie downs here with the uh, Velcro. Um, I'm gonna go put these on my 2018 gold wing and let's see how they fit. Okay, as you can see, this thing fits pretty well, this mat. It fits up the little points, fit kind of up here in these little uh, spikes. This one doesn't fit as well as this one over here. So it's not what I would call a perfect match. Uh, this does not look uniform like the bike is, so there's a little bit of space here on this particular mat, but still, the Honda mat just kind of goes straight across. It doesn't even go up into these points. 
So the quality control could be a little bit better on these mats. They could get this point to match this one over here because you can see it goes right up into that space. And this one uh, does not quite go all the way up in there. Now that's kind of nitpicky, but it's there no, nonetheless. And then all the way around the edge, uh, it appears to fit pretty well. Uh, all of this, I see now why they have this little cut out. There is a little bump here on the, on the shelter. So I guess that's to allow for that. So that's actually a good thing. Let's come over this way. And everything else looks like it fits pretty snug. The only uh, problem with the trunk mat would be that one point not quite going up into that area, but that's, a, that's pretty nitpicky actually. Uh, it feels nice. It sits down pretty nice. It, it pops up a little bit right here. Whereas the Honda mat sits a little bit more flush to the bottom of the trunk. Of course, as you put stuff in here, it will um, push that down. And it's possible that once it's in here for a while, uh, in the heat, uh, in the weather, that it will kind of flatten out and sit down flatter. Let's take a look at the saddlebag. This is the right saddlebag. You can see it fits pretty well. Almost perfect fit. Uh, to all of the areas. If you look back up in there, actually looks pretty nice. It feels nice. Definitely an improvement over not having one at all. Now we'll go check the left saddlebag. Same thing here. Uh, it fits good. I have not tacked these down with the Velcro and the double-sided tape, just so you know. So they would probably fit a little flatter and a little tighter if I did that. But I just don't see the need to do it right now because I want to test these first. But right now, I'd say for $60 a set, this is a real value. Um, I think had I seen this before I bought the uh, Honda mats, I probably would have got these. I like the logo better. I think it's a little more, uh, a little more standout, attractive. So... That's the uh, trunk and saddlebag mats from Cobra. Uh, check my Amazon page or check the link in, the, in this video for more information on where you can order these through my Amazon store. I think it's a pretty good deal. And remember, you can order any color you want. Um, you just need to tell them if you have red, blue, yellow, or gold, whatever color you want, they'll make them. For the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. So I'm back and I hope you enjoyed that brief review. I am now testing these on my bike. I have them in the saddlebag and the trunk. I still have not taped them down using the Velcro, using the double-sided uh, tape and the Velcro. Um, I can see where that would be a good thing to do, especially in the saddlebags or even in the trunk if you have something kind of heavy. And if you were to come to a stop, it might scrunch up that carpet rather than keeping it in place so actually having that uh, that double-sided tape and velcro is probably not a bad idea and it's something that Honda doesn't offer so you may want to check those out I'll reiterate once again I think I did in the video also that you can have these embroidered in different colors now all the carpet is black. You can only get the carpet in black, but the embroidery colors can be changed. You just need to make sure when you place your order through Amazon that you send a message to Cobra Auto Accessories and there will be a link in Amazon where you can send them a message. So and then just tell them what color of embroidery you want for your mats and they'll uh, make them and ship them out to you. And if any of you have these mats, please put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. Also, for those of you that are into cruising, you've been on some cruises or you're interested in going on a cruise, and look forward to seeing you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.